Good evening, and welcome to the Literature Club. I am your host, Tyler Durnden. This is part two of our discussion of the short story, Zabalawi. Now, before we get to our discussion questions, first, let's go over the story a little. Uh, sure, I could just sit here and talk about the story, uh, uh, but wouldn't it be more fun if we used our imaginations to go into the story? What do you think, Norton? Hmm. I don't know. Come on, Norton. What's the first rule of Literature Club? The first rule of Literature Club is don't talk about Literature Club. Hmm. No, the first rule of Literature Club is whenever possible, always use your imagination. Hmm, right. All you gotta do is close your eyes real tight and think about Egypt. Mm. Egypt. Pyramids and sand and other pyramids. Wow! Egypt! <laughs> hey, Norton! Norton! It's hot! So hot! Yeah, check it out, Norton. Looks like we're in Cairo, just a few miles from where the story takes place. So hot! So hot! So hot! So hot. You see, in the beginning of the story, the narrator comes to realize that it is time for him to seek out this man by the name of Zabalawi. The narrator is afflicted with an illness for which there is no cure. Yes. He recalls uh, his father singing the song of Zabalawi and saying, that Zabalawi is a true saint of God, a remover of worries and troubles. His father had met Zabalawi mm -hmm, at the house of Sheikh Kamar, a lawyer, who has since then moved his office to the Chamber of Commerce building in Garden City. <laughs> yes. And that's where the narrator begins his quest for Zabalawi. Let's go check it out. <laughs> hey, all right. Well, this is where the narrator met with Sheikh Kumar to ask about Zabalawi. Sheikh Kumar hadn't seen Zabalawi in such a long time that uh, he could hardly even remember the guy. So our, uh, the narrator continued on his way, but before he did, uh, Sheikh Kumar did tell him that Zabalawi had been living in a town called Al-Azhar. So that was the narrator's next stop. Well, this is some really nice carpet. So this is Al-Azhar. If you look around, it's kind of trashy. Um, the narrator went to the house where Zabalawi uh, used to live, but he had no luck finding Zabalawi there. Nobody lived there anymore. As a matter of fact, you wouldn't want to live there. You'd be surprised if you could. <laughs> so, you know, he uh, asked around and, uh, you know, nobody had heard of Zabalawi. The people who had heard of Zabalawi called him a charlatan and a, and a fraud. 
So, you know, at this point, he's feeling pretty discouraged, and uh, he just goes home. But as the days go by, you know, he, he this pain, this affliction, this illness, you know, just grows and gets greater, and he starts thinking, man, I got to find this guy, Zabalawi, and he recalls of a sheik that he knows who's kind of like a private investigator. Um, uh, he's a sheik of the district, is what, it, is what they call him. Um, so he went to go see this guy. But this guy's a busy fellow, and he said that uh, it's been a long time since he's seen Zabalawi too. Uh, he said he's been way too preoccupied with the concerns of the people. <laughs> so there's no luck finding Zabalawi there. But he did draw him, um, the narrator a map of the area. Uh, so that this, so that the narrator can go around and and inquire about Zabalawi, so that's what he did, you know. And, Z and the narrator took the map and he goes around and he's asking people about Zabalawi, you know. He's like, "Hey, do you know Zabalawi? Hey, do you know Zabalawi?" And finally, somebody tells him about a man, a, a, a calligrapher. This guy is a calligrapher that knows uh, Zabalawi supposedly knows him real well. So he goes to find this calligrapher and he finds him in like a shop or something. Let's go check it out. Well, this is where the narrator met with the old calligrapher, one by the name of Hassanin. Um, Zabalawi was not here, um, but the old man was able to confirm that uh, Zabalawi is still alive um, he's a man of mystery, a man and more, and the inspiration for all of his most beautiful work. But no Zavalawi. So the narrator kept on asking around, and uh, this led him to a composer. He went to the house of a composer, a musician, because supposedly Zavalawi hangs out here all the time. So. That's where he went. He went to the house of Gad. That's the guy's name, the composer. Let's go check it out. So this was the next stop for the narrator on his quest for Zabalawi. It's the house of Gad, a composer, a well-known composer. The narrator asked this composer, you know, have you, uh, is Zavalawi here, you know? And the composer says, well, no, you know, he visited me a long time ago, uh, but he's not here now. I mean, who knows? Maybe he, maybe he could show up right now. Um, or who knows, you know, maybe I won't see him until the time of my death, is what the composer told the, the narrator. Such are saints. That's the way saints go, is what he said. And, you know, at this point, the narrator, you know, he's disheartened, uh, he's discouraged. And he's like, man, I'm just going to give up and go home. But this composer assures him, you know, he says, hey, man, you know, it's, you know, in this day and age, you know, hang on. What did the, this guy say to the narrator? He said, uh, you know, everybody grows tired searching for Zabalawi. You know, in this time and the state of the world, you know, it's not as easy to find Zabalawi as it maybe once was. You know, Zabalawi is not exactly welcomed by everybody anymore, or anybody, you know. To find Zabalawi requires patience, but it's worth it, he says. He said it was because of Zabalawi that he was able to compose some of his greatest music. So, you know, he's like, don't give up. Um, so the narrator is about to leave, and then this composer says to him, Hey, uh, you know, I, I, there's this guy, and Zabalawi visits this guy all the time. And you'll, you'll probably find this guy at, at a bar on, on, on Alfie Street, the Negra Bar. If you go to the Negra Bar, you'll find this guy, and maybe he can tell you where to find Zabalawi. So that's where we're headed. We're going to go to the bar, and we're going to uh, see this place where... Uh, where, where, which was the next stop uh, for the narrator on his quest. Let's go to the bar. Oh, hang on, Norton, you filthy little drunk. So this is the bar that the narrator goes to to meet with 
Hag Wanas Al Damanore. Now this man, this drunk guy, he was uh, sitting right back there in the corner. And the narrator approached him and he says, actually he didn't say anything. The drunk guy, he, well he doesn't let him say anything. He says, you know, I'm not going to talk to you unless you're as drunk as I am. And the narrator was like, I don't drink. And the drunk guy was like, I know, man, you better drink because uh, I'm not talking to you otherwise. So the narrator sits down and he has a couple of drinks. After a few drinks, he completely forgot what he was doing there in the first place. Completely forgot to ask about Zabalao. He drank way too much and passed out in the bar. Now when he was passed out, he had a dream. Yes, a peaceful dream, a serene dream with fountains and flowers. And when he wakes up, well, he comes to find out that Zabalawi came and was sitting next to him while he was sleeping and dreaming. Boy, was he mad. He yells at the drunk guy. He says, that's what I came here for, to meet Zabalawi. And uh, the drunk guy was like, oh, I didn't know that. And the narrator is like, well, you didn't let me talk. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. The drunk guy leaves, and then the narrator says to himself, well, I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for him to come back. You know, surely he'll be back. I'm going to teach myself to be patient. I'm going to find Zabalawi. But then he worried. He was like, oh, what if I get impatient and it takes too long? And, you know, all these other people out there in the world, they don't even believe that he exists. Why should I be any different? But, you know, the pain of his affliction was just too great. And the story ends there, like it began, with the narrator declaring, I have to find Zabalawi. So that's Zabalawi in a nutshell. When we return, we're going to have some questions about the story.